right, we're going to go over changing a uh, tube on a regular 26 inch beach cruiser. We got a flat back tire here. Uh, typically, what I'm going to do is just flip her upside down, especially if I'm uh, inside the store. We use the stand for a lot of things, but uh, just doing this back tire, it's easy enough to flip it over. It's going to be a 15 millimeter socket down here. We're just going to loosen that up real quick. You do not have to back the nut all the way off. I'm coming close. You're going to loosen the two axle bolts and you're going to take off the uh, brake arm. It's going to be a 10 millimeter socket. Um, you can hold the back end with an adjustable wrench. Um, some bikes will have a Phillips head screwdriver there, but in this case, it's just a nut. I'm going to need to take that all the way off. And pop that. Remove the chain. Typically, uh, you can just peel it off with your fingers. Sometimes you might want to use tire levers, um, like these guys right here. If you did want to use these, you just go ahead, pop it in there, bring it all the way around. Grab the tire at the tube, pull it out of the rim. Try not to pull out the rim tape. Just pull the tube on out. Typically what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw this away right away. We're gonna cut it so that it deflates all the way and um, throw it in the garbage can. But right now, since it's a good one, I'm not throwing it away. But we will grab a regular 26 inch uh, tube. This is the most common tube we have. It will go in the 26 inch unis, the males, and the seven speeds. We're gonna fill it up with a little bit of air first just to help us get it in the tube. Or help us get the tube in the tire, I should say. Just a little bit will do don't have to overinflate. You don't want to sh stretch the tube. You just want to fill it up. You can go ahead and find the hole again. Peel back the tire. Pop her through. And then just pull the bead up and tuck the tire in all the way around. push that outer bead back in. There you go. Let me just slide the chain over and Put the tire back in the bike. Make sure the washer is on the outside of the frame. Tighten these back down by hand. Slide the brake reaction arm into position. And then put the bolt back through. Just make that snug for now. Don't get it too tight. We'll lock it down after we get the chain tension adjusted. So you're back to your 15 millimeter socket. Again, these are hand tight. 
Then we're going to push the bike back, the tire I should say, back all the way into the dropouts. And we're going to tighten down the non-chain side first. Now the easiest way to adjust chain tension is to just grab the chain stay right here with your hand and you can actually push against this part of the rim a little. And when this is loose, it's a little snug right now actually. When this is loose, it'll push this side of the axle back and tension the chain. What you're looking for is uh, about a chain's width of deflection that you can move pretty easily um, right in the center of the chain. And then you can put a little pressure on the outside of the rim to achieve that and easily hold that there while you tighten. That's pretty much it right there. Um, we're just going to inflate the tire you can bring these up to about 40 psi but you know when we're doing it with the hose like we normally do it it's just a by feel thing so get it pretty good and stiff and you're done all you got to do at that point then is tighten up the reaction arm for the brake you don't have to go super tight on this just get her snug And that's it.